Hi, I'm EXO, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Galvanized roofing sheets have been around for many years, and if installed and maintained properly, can give you a good lifespan. They're resistant to heat and hail, but over some time, it does begin to show some signs of wear. And by giving it a bit of maintenance, we can prolong its lifespan, and therefore, delaying the time until you need to replace them. So today, we're gonna fix these issues and give the roof a lick of paint and have it looking good again. What you're gonna need depends on the scope of your work, but what I'm gonna need is a wire brush and sandpaper, Durham NS2, NS1 and NS6, as well as Durham Weather Roof Roof Paint, together with a 100mm roller, paint brushes and a tray, 90mm tech screws with a rubber washer, bitumen tape and a utility knife, a drill driver with a magnetic nut setter, a broom, eye protection and gloves. The first step here is to lightly sand and wire brush the rusted areas to remove any flaking and peeling rust and then sweep it clean. This also gives me time to check the screws as we work our way around. I just want to replace some of the screws that are damaged and I'm using these tech screws with rubber washers. Simply take the old ones out and pop the new ones in, but be careful not to over tighten them. It's time now to give it a good wash using the NS2. Now this contains an acid, so just make sure that you're using your hand and your eye protection. I'm simply going to scrub the roof and this cleaner removes dirt, oils and impurities from the surface. And now we're going to rinse the roof with clean water and let it dry completely. Next up is to prime the rusted areas only using the NS1 Rust Buster. This is a cream coloured liquid that turns blue black after a few hours as it reacts with the rust. Just paint it on the rusted areas and let the rust buster do the job. Leave it for at least 4 hours to let it dry completely. And while that's drying, we can clean these brushes with water as it's water based. So before we can paint the roof, we need the sheets to have a surface that the paint can adhere to. So I'm going to prepare for the paint by priming the entire roof with NS6, which is a galvanized iron primer. And this can be done using a brush or 100 mm roller. And this primer takes four to six hours to dry before we can paint over it. And being water-based, cleaning up is easy. It's time to get the paint on, and I've gone with the Durham Weather Roof All Weather Roof Paint in the color gray. This water-based paint has got excellent UV and weather-resistant properties. Application is simple, just use a roller or paintbrush. And for this, we're gonna need two coats. Now, if some of your polycarbonate sheets are starting to lift like this one, make use of some bitumen tape and use it in the problem areas. This sticks really well to these surfaces. It forms a watertight seal, preventing leaks. Just make sure that you leave it in the hot sun for it to warm up a bit, as this makes it more pliable. All done, and I can hear that ice cold glass of water calling me. I don't have to worry about this roof for many years to come. I've expanded the lifespan of these roof sheets and it's avoided me having to replace them unnecessarily. Now remember, everything I've used is available at Builders, in-store, or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog or the website. Get to Builders, get it done.